Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Rick, I hope you're having a great day. And today, we're sort of doing a road trip. So, here he is. Hello. <laughs> so we're actually doing what I said we were going to be doing this year. And we've come out here to just below Bristol. That was a fun drive on those lovely quiet roads, not. Um, <laughs> but we have come to a National Trust place called Tynesfield House. Is it Tynesfield? Tintersfield. 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 I haven't got my glasses on. Tintersfield House. And I have no, I have no idea what this place is like, um, but it's incredibly busy. There's a massive car park. And uh, what, what is this place? Um, just a stately home with garden. I think, remember, it's got its own little church as well. Okay. Oh, we can't go in that way now. You're right. Well, unless, do we need tickets because we got National Trust membership cards? Yeah, I've already had mine scanned once. So. Oh, okay. Well, I, I absolutely have no idea what's here. It, literally, I, just, I was just given this place. We need to come here and have a look around. So we're here and li literally we've just gone, had, had our little ticket scanned and now we are looking at some buildings. Alex. Yes. <laughs> have you spotted the racing cars that we can, uh, you know, we can, we can... Those? <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine us on those? <laughs> yeah. We would be absolute menaces. <laughs> There's some delightful old buildings. Um, I have no idea. I'm gonna, I, I should have bought a leaflet or read up on this place, shouldn't I, before or I came book, here? Yes. Or a guidebook. I'm going to stop the video there. I'm just in the process of editing it. I've just got to this point where I'm talking about information about Tynesfield House. Now, at the end, on our way out, I actually bought a booklet to see if I could find some information that I could turn into a few little mini voiceovers while, we, while you were looking at some B-roll. <laughs> I've just spent the last probably half an hour going through this book, looking for any like snippet of information that I could turn into a voiceover. And all I can say is, mission failed. <laughs> it's, don't get me wrong, it was a lovely place, but, um, it's so dry. The story behind it is so dry, but they've padded it out into this massive booklet and it just generally covers a bit of Victorian life and stuff, but it was quite possibly the driest read I've read in a decade. <laughs> so I'm not going to inflict it on you. Anyway, back to the video. But anyway, it's been a long journey and I had quite a few drinks of water. So um, <clears throat> just got to disappear somewhere. See you in a second. So Rick very foolishly handed me his camera and said the words, I trust you. <laughs> but I can't think of anything mischievous to do. Isn't that awful? We, uh, yeah, there's absolutely, yeah. Yeah, that's it. I didn't have a chance to think about it. So I think what I'll do is um, I'll put you in a pot. That's the house, we're gonna go and have a look around it. I don't know anything about it, but I'm sure by the time the end of this video ends, or by the time we leave, I'll probably know a lot more. So, wish me luck, we're going in.
dinner is served. Very nice. And for just, the, for just, those of us watching in the mirror, you will know we're doing exactly the same video again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I, I mean, this is very familiar to me. I eat like this all the time at home. <laughs> Really? It's no. A bit small, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, yes, yes. Compared to compared to your palace that oh, you Christ. that you live in. Yeah, I always make that joke. My butler seems to like it anyway. <laughs> This is a chapel. They must be awfully rich to have their own chapel. There you go. Home from home. Feeling at home, Alex? I should be up there, shouldn't I? <laughs> In the pulpit. These are Victorian, apparently. And there we go. That was the house and the chapel. What did you think? Religious buildings, you know me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not interesting. He was quivering at the knees. <laughs> Enough of Tintersfield, haven't we? It's been nice, actually. I think so. But uh, after you've seen it once, there's no surprise anymore. Yeah. So. <laughs> but uh, this is not the end of the video. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, there's more. Oh, yeah, there's a lot more. Oh, yes. So we'll save that for a surprise and we'll keep you waiting. No time at all. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> so I did ask Alex the question, when you've seen one stately home, is it like you've seen them all? And I think the reluctant, <laughs> the reluctant agreement between us both was pretty much. Um, but we bought, we bought National Trust membership and English heritage. And English heritage. Now English heritage is going to be even worse because English heritage is mostly old ruins, old homes, um, isn't it? Is it? I thought. I thought it's mostly ruins, old castles with no roofs on and things like that. I see. I always thought that was National Trust. I. I, I think it's a theme across both. Actually, uh, to be fair. But uh, English heritage, yeah, it's, uh, I, th I always thought that was the, you know, the musty old buildings and things. Um, but never mind, we're out and about doing what stuff we said we were going to do. It, we got delayed by a month because we both came down with COVID or, or a, a close approximation of it. And I think we're going the wrong way. Uh, that's the way out, it's not the car park. I think the car park was down there. But we'll find out soon. We get a nice long walk out of it as well. What's not to like? There we go. Managed to get a little booklet. I suppose I should have bought this before we went in. Yeah, probably not. Because idea. I, we were walking around a bit clueless. But now I've got lots of B-roll and some information. So hopefully I can put a bit of a video together. And it might be slightly interesting. But anyway, we're heading back to the vans. And... I think we're going to have a quick drink and then plan B, we should reveal momentarily. Ah, oh, yes. Anyway, you've got your serious specs on. So. Got my serious specs on. Right, so I just had a nice little drink. Uh, Alex is heading off to John and I'm going off in Guinevere and we're now going to a campsite uh, where we're going to set up John and then the plan is we're going to jump into Guinevere and go look at some stuff uh, in the local area uh, in 
including possibly a pier. So we're going to be by the seaside. Anyway, need to get to the campsite. It's half an hour away. So let's get going. Right then, just got to program in the sat nav. Program. Oh, he's off already. Okay, when you're ready, route clear, drive to. So it's 19 miles, half an hour. Okay, do you want to lead the way or follow? Oh, I don't care. <laughs> I, I, well, uh, if, if you lead, you can see your sat nav better than I can see mine. Okay, right, so uh, try to keep up. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a speed demon, you know. <laughs> yes, I've heard about your speed antics. What, from Helen? Yes. <laughs> okay. Was it an old woman, wasn't it? Drives like an old woman. <laughs> okay, how are you sat there? I've just wedged you in between the armrest and the seat. Um, I have no idea if my voice is going to be picked up from, from this distance because I'm only using the uh, the onboard mics to the GoPro. I think it's down here. Yeah. But uh, I think you're wobbling about a bit, so it's not actually that stable. But I'll be interested to see what the footage from that particular angle looks like because if um, if it's okay, I can use it more often. But that was quite a nice uh, little visit. I must admit, going to old manor houses was never really something I would consider something I would do. But while I was there, it was all actually very interesting and very, very nice. I was still really none the wiser as to what it was all about, but I have bought a little booklet. and. So, I'm hoping I'll be a little bit more wised up about this place uh, before I make the video. And I do suspect this video is going to be a lot of voiceover and a lot of B-roll. But these are roads I've never travelled before so they're all a bit of a mystery to me and I'm, I'm relying heavily on sat-nav sat at the moment. Okay Alex is still waiting to pull out. Hopefully he's seen me take this left turn. But yeah this is a kind of a... I, I don't know if it technically counts as a road trip because it's uh, it's only a one-nighter but this is exactly what I wanted to start doing this year was to get out more maybe have a stay somewhere if it's if it's quite far out and this place is quite far out it was a, a two-hour drive from home so I thought we might as well make a you know an actual a camp of it um, but I'm hoping this will be the first of many uh, where we go visit places do a bit of camping ideally you know, go on to somewhere else and uh, go visit something else, maybe have another camp. Um, that's my definition of a road trip. And I'm hoping to actually do, you know, several this year. That would be nice. Not a big fan of driving motorways, mainly because there are so many snarl ups these days. If you get caught in a snarl up, you can be there hours and hours and hours, um, and you've got absolutely no control over the situation whatsoever. So, I always try to get to my destinations by not using motorways. I'll just take uh, A roads or the more scenic B roads and just take my time getting there and enjoy the journey. Uh, but on motorways, you're kind of locked in to this, um, this, one way system and like I say if there's ever a snarl up or an accident up ahead or whatever you're just you're stuck there for hours and completely ruin your plans. Right, uh, Alex is behind me, that's good. Um, this 
road is so unfamiliar to me now. I haven't been down here for a long, long time. Possibly 10 plus years. So when do we start having four lane motorways? Alright, I think this looks very seasidey. You can see this sort of seaside over there. So it's very sand dune and beachy, so I think we're almost there. Oh, I've got to turn. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Nearly missed my turn in then. <laughs> All right, we're here. Ugh, I think. Cool. Oh, it's bumpy. see what's what and I'll be back well assuming you can hear me over the sound of the wind because I know these uh, windshields are not particularly brilliant but hopefully you can hear me uh, we've arrived and we are in this pleasant little field uh, north of Western Supermare Alex has just set up uh, John. We're going to leave John here and then we're going to go clear off in Guinevere and go and have a little bit of a day trip to Clevedon, which is um, a couple of coastal towns down, uh, where we're going to, I do believe, have a look at a pier. A pier at a pier? A pier we're going to pier at a pier, yes. Aha. Nice. I see what you did there. Um, but we've got the place to ourselves. We've got a few static caravans here, which I don't think anybody's in. And uh, just nice big motorhome and camping field here. Got a few little resident horses over there and an adventure playground, which I'm sure we'll check out at some point. Maybe not. <laughs> But the weather is starting to turn and I also think we are under the main flight path to Bristol Airport. So uh, it's going to be nice and quiet, <laughs> not. Um, but never mind, that's, that's all part of the fun and camping, yeah. and especially in new places, somewhere you've never been before. I forgot these are reactor lights. <laughs> I forgot about that. So we've got this post thing and it's on all of them. <laughs> so we are at Clevedon, Clevedon Beach? Yes. Clevedon the Beach. Closed. And the pier is closed, so we can't go on it. Can't see up there. Um, but we've got some really nice glittery, muddy coloured water there. Glittery, muddy coloured. <laughs> <laughs> and the storm brewing in from Wales. English weather. Yes. I feel perfectly at home here. It's very nice. Um, although, no sand, it's all pebbles sort of the sun's out yes can't complain about the sun i've just noticed my my glasses are reactor ones i didn't realize i thought they were just clear still never mind that's good it's nice to have glasses on actually i can see things so we're going to go down and have a look at the beach why not we're here it's a shame everything seems a bit closed so I don't know what time of year things open or whether it's just because we're mid... What, what, what day is it? It's Thursday afternoon, isn't it? Yeah. So... Damon's been here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he likes his rock balancing. Oh, we can go out on the, um, yeah, the little sewage pipe outlet. <laughs> whatever it is. Actually, I bet you that's what it is. I bet you there's a sewage outlet. they got one at Swanage as well, haven't they? On Preble Point. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's not quite... Mediterranean blue, is it? <laughs> let's be, let's be honest about it. Yeah, I'm not sure I'll be wanting to go for a paddle in this. Uh, just for, <laughs> for health and safety reasons. One of the things I like 
about Guinevere is you can park in places that are more inside Guinevere but then outside got the seaside what's not to like but anyway we've just um, had a little walk on the beach and well on the stones <laughs> the pier was shut so we couldn't go on that so we're gonna have a little drive around and see whether or not we can um, I think we're gonna find a shop I think Alex wants to buy some bits uh, so we're gonna have a little drive around Cleveland see if there's anything of interest and then we'll head back to the campsite and sort of mellow out for the rest of the evening and get the barbecue on I've got a couple of steaks to sizzle and uh, then we'll go from there so see you in a bit there's another plane yeah this must be the, the main flight path to Bristol Airport but never mind so anyway that's it now we're parked up for the night now so uh, I can start unpacking and making Guinevere a little home for the night yeah. and I think we'll probably be this this will basically be our clubhouse for tonight because um, otherwise we'll sit in John but it's not not a lot of room with your bed up but... <laughs> <laughs> there's no way I'm getting in there with you like that <laughs> <laughs> but uh, John's set up He's, you're, you're pretty much ready to go in here you just you've got your little loo and your bed I and... shall I've literally got to find the, um, the plug no the... I found the plug Oh yeah. So it's all ready for the electric blanket to yeah. be um, you got, fired up. He had to pay an extra bit for his mains hookup. A fiver um, not to freeze. Remember how we were at Eastern Castle? Yeah. If I could have paid a fiver a night. Yeah. <laughs> a fiver got him. He actually, he actually has a meter on the thing. He, he puts the fiver on the card, and oh. then and then he slots the card in the meter. Um, right. So he's put a fiver on, and it's, it's giving you 16 kilowatts. Right. 16 kilowatts runs my house for at least three days. So yeah, you bought enough electricity for you and probably the next three, <laughs> the next three campers. I'd rather uh, have it than it run out. Yeah, fair enough. So anyway, right. So we're just going to settle down in here. I've got to turn the seat around. Um, Alex has bought some posh. He's being very good actually. He was going to buy some alcohol, but then he's bought some posh. Uh, water-based drinks and they're not alcoholic so um, can I put that in there? Or yeah, that... yeah I'm gonna turn my seat around oh yeah your coat and your hat I'll have to wear your hat for a minute and oh I see yep yeah. oh loads of stuff yes oh that's a nice hat it sort of suits you <laughs> I've got it thank you, you. Got it. you got it no hats don't suit me I've I have declared you can't see that let's have a look Nope. <laughs> I feel like Doctor Who with this on. Would you like a jelly, maybe? Greetings and salutations. Rick has gone for a wee. So, I'm going to do something mischievous. Can I do this again? <laughs> I'm a genius. If I break this, it's going to give the game away, isn't it? So, all I'm going to do is just turn that around like that. Oh. You probably can't see, but what I've done is I've turned this around so it now goes the other way um yeah i did so uh, yeah there we are that sky so um no, 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 i can see the screen oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm have to I, 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 i'll close my eyes i'll close my eyes i'll be honest <laughs> So we're playing this game called Who Am I? And it's just a silly little thing. I've just looked at mine so you can look at yours. But what you do is you, you, you slip this over your face and uh, <laughs> I just spotted Dave. Um, okay. uh, uh, anyway, I just I just, just saw what Alex looks like. You ready for this? <laughs> I, I, I'm not looking. I want to guess still. So He's not looking because he can see the reflection in the camera otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> that is perfectly lined up. That's so funny. Right then. So, oh, hello. 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 We're just, just having a final warm up before uh, settling down for the evening. So that's all the washing up done and uh, everything packed away. I've got my little electric blanket on down there, so that's nice. Getting nice and warm. Oh, you put it on in the end then. Um, put it on in the end. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, look at the colour of that sky out there. That's a beautiful, that 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 sort of pre-sleep sort of sky colour. Yeah, it's only ten past nine, and we're, yes, we're both, it's frightfully late. <laughs> we're both <laughs> exhausted, but uh, anyway, I'm just going to have a little 
final little drink and a warm up and then gonna hit the hay and then it's off home tomorrow not sure how that's gonna work out we'll worry about it tomorrow yeah but it's been a good day hasn't it it has yes yeah I've really enjoyed it so actually. have I actually that's that's so good yeah um, that's sort of the point of us doing it well really, yeah wasn't it, it was <laughs> yeah as far as visiting old houses go we've got them lined up haven't we, we, we there are <laughs> there are many there uh, that are available I like that. There are, there are many there. There are many there that we can go and visit. Um, I, I'm not sure I'm old enough to, <laughs> to, to feel this massive urge to visit old, like old houses. Although it was interesting smells. Yes. They smelled of old books and things, and that was quite, quite. But an how much have we spent between us on? two National Trust memberships and two English Heritage memberships and we've been to one place. But about 320 quid between us I think, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, yeah, we, we bought National Trust and English Heritage um, memberships. On the same um, day as well if you remember. So we it was did. A, it was a thing, wasn't yeah. it? And the, the thing was we were going to make a point of going out on these little adventures and visit these places and we did. We did exactly what we did today. Yes. Um, but I mean, I'm sure it's not all just old houses. There must be some more things. And I mean, National Trust is Avebury, Stone Circles, things like that. Which you can um, go to for free anyway with that membership, can't you? Avebury you can. No, no, you've got to pay for the par parking. Oh, do you? Right. So, yeah, we basically get free parking and all the things. But we've got, we got Chebworth Roman Villa, which I know we both want yep, to go and see. Absolutely. Um, and all sorts of other ancient places. Uh, so this will be the first of our little explorations but anyway yes yeah, so anyway we're gonna gonna chill out for the well the next half an hour and then I think Alex is gonna go off to bed and I'll probably just do some writing uh, for an hour or so and then I'll hit the hay myself and we'll see what tomorrow brings um, but oh hello what was I doing I had a big shadow over my face then I think it's from that light over there which I've still got to create a, a shield for because it's way too bright um, but uh, so we will see you in the morning yeah <laughs> how's the hair well good morning uh, it's eight o'clock in the morning and uh, we're just sat here having a cup of coffee um, Alex is just putting some pasta on <laughs> yeah he's trying out um, easier ways to cook food while he's away in John and uh, He's decided to go for the like the dried food packet. So all he's got to do is boil water and then pour whatever packet foods uh, into the into the big bowl that he's got, and uh, that should make life easier for him rather than having to do fry ups and stuff because it's a little bit awkward on that just little pull out um, camper uh, pull out stove thing that he's got there. So obviously when he gets a, a Guinevere type van, then that'll be a game changer for him. But he's got to kind of work around the setup that he's got there. Um, and he, apparently he had a really good night last night, which is good. Um, he's, the mains hookup it makes all the difference because he's got the heat and he had his little heater running and the electric blanket and everything. Not that it was cold. Um, it's actually been very mild. I didn't, didn't need to use my heaters at all uh, overnight. Um, didn't in fact I put the electric blanket on and then I had to leave my blankets open because it was my bed was far too hot I had to wait for it to cool down again um, but uh, there we go so we've just got like a leisurely leisurely head on home at whatever time we decide to leave there's no agenda um, at all is there no is that's, nice. that's what I love about this well, my, my main thing on my mind now is how am I going to get home and avoid all the Bristol traffic because we're like this far away from Bristol. And so I'm going to try taking like the A roads. You could aim for um, Bath, couldn't you? Because you were in uh, Bath, no. miles Bristol. No. <laughs> but, but, when was the last time you drove through Bath? It's a giant car park. It was 20 years ago, it can not change much. <laughs> it will take you like two hours to get through Bath. It's ridiculous. I was actually thinking of heading south and then kind of sw swinging round sort of Yeovil way and heading back that way. That's massively... Well, the thing is, it, it does mean I get to drive through Cheddar Gorge and all the beautiful, okay. beautiful uh, scenery and then hit the Oval. And then 
the, the guy that came to pick up my wheels, he came from Yeovil, right, okay. and it took him an hour, or just just over an hour. So okay. I thought I could live with that. So I, I'll, I'll have a look at the map anyway and, and see what's what. But yeah, I don't really want to do the motorway if I can help it. Fair enough. So we just uh, had a little bit of breakfast. I just had two cold sausages, and Alex is enjoying his hot oh. pasta. But I suppose at some point we're gonna have to start thinking about going away, going home. It's like ten to ten. I don't know if they've got a kicking off time because most campsites is like you got to be off the site by ten. <laughs> we're nowhere near ready. But there's nobody here. I think we'll no. be fine if we sort of over go over a bit, unless they end up charging us for another night. But I'm sure that won't be the case. So here we are at the end of another camp. Uh, Guinevere's all packed up, ready to go. John's all packed up, ready yep, to go. Yeah, John's ready to go. And uh, I think that was quite a successful trip. Yes. Yeah, so well, we're going to do it again. <laughs> Probably next week. Aren't gonna, we, so. we're, we're, we're kind of hungry for doing this sort of thing again now. So we're going to uh, we're going to do another trip. Hopefully next week. Uh, we've got we got to confirm dates, uh, but we'll be going off somewhere else and having a look somewhere else, um, or having a look at somewhere else a little more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> that came out wrong, you know what I mean. Um, but until next time, uh, that's it from us. Thank you, yes. Alex, for your company. And Pleasure. For, thank you for, for uh, oh, thank you for coming on the trip. Yeah, I've really really enjoyed it. It's been 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 a good laugh yeah. and uh, been educational. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and on that note thanks for watching guys have a great rest of the day and we'll see you in the next video until then take care